everybody, my name is Cara on Fire, and welcome to a video on Conan Exos looking at the new Transmog or Illusionary system as they call it. Because they're too f cool for that name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, they want something unique, of course, of course. Anyway, we're talking about the Illusion system, Transmog, whatever you want to call it, reskinning your items, making yourself look however you want to. So, you don't have to put on like you know this heavy ugly armor anymore and be like oh i really don't like the look of this well now you can actually you know go ahead and change the look of it so that's going to be really nice however there is a catch to the system from what i've seen and it doesn't work with things that you cannot learn so for instance my armor in here providing i have it learnt, i could change a yamatai chest piece into a Kitan mercenary caress i could use that but i wouldn't be able to transform the uh, chess piece into this uh, fur harness here because i don't have it learnt and it seems to be the same with legendaries at the moment as well i've noticed or yeah just things like that it's very very peculiar but we'll look into that a little bit more in a minute but first of all, if you actually want to do illusion, you need to do the first things first and go and learn sorcery and stuff. And that means you're going to need, you know, just your basic sorcery, your former Teji bench. And the former Teji bench is what you need to do, any illusions. And then you want two items. One um, you want the stats transferred on and one that you want the look of. And I'm going to give you an example of the legendary thing right now, since we're into this topic. I've stuck an axe of the lion in here. I've stuck a Yamato warm axe in here and you can see because I can't learn what the axe of the lion is as a BP I can't use it however I can use other things that I have learned things you've got from DLCs and stuff and that you can use or general stuff like that things from the battle pass bloody blah, blah you could use even on tools let's have a look shall we so like if I got um, these two I have them both learnt in my blueprints and I want the stats of this hardened steel pick uh, to look like a stone pick so I can combine them together and now I have this illusioned and now whenever I use this pick it's gonna look like a stone one <laughs> so you could confuse your friends and be like collecting things with a stone pickaxe and they'll be like why are you using a stone pickaxe they'll be like ha -ha. <laughs> so that's one fun thing you can do you can also transmog shields and stuff and all that and again i was going to show you that you couldn't do the legendary one which i think is like they really need to change that we need to be able to transmog the legendary ones because i think that's kind of silly not being able to do that because a lot of people will want to use legendaries especially black iron bulwark is pretty good in general so hang on let's have a look at this shall we so i want to transfer this onto this of course i can't so that's very annoying however if i wanted to make my wooden shield look like it was a nice shield i could so i could have this wooden shield and boom it now looks like a nice shield but it is a very big thing you're going to be missing out not being able to you know transport the legendaries it's kind of a shame like I feel like you should be able to do this and uh, you know have a good time uh, i don't see why you shouldn't be able to do it unless they were wanting to keep it as more of a unique thing but then again it's just kind of silly <laughs> uh, anyway let's have a look at some more of these examples here of what we can do so sumerian battle of war axe i've had that learnt i've also learnt this one i could combine it and boom you see it's illusionary and now it looks exactly like the DLC weapon I've bought. So I'm actually really ecstatic about the DLC stuff being able to be transmog because I always had them learn and stuff. But I would never bother to use them because they were never good enough to use them. Like their stats were not good enough unless you were very early game. So you can see what a lot with these 17 health damage is not going to get me anywhere. Why would I bother to use this further on in the game? I just wouldn't be able to use this really pretty DLC thing I've bought it's a waste of money at that point because i can't use it so now you can actually use them and have them as either an object you swing around with or you can reskin it on an actual good item and still have the really nice aesthetic that you want so i'm actually incredibly happy about that and that is really nice for people who have dlcs and stuff like that 
So let's look at some of the armor types, shall we? Defari skin chest plate. I have that learnt in my, you know, engrams and stuff like that. My, um, you know, knowledge tab. And I want to transfer it into this Aegis tunic because I think that looks better and I don't want to look like a Defari. But I want the stats from the Defari, theoretically. <laughs> of course, in a normal world, I would, wouldn't dare put this against this because that just gives way more armor and it's better. However, we're doing it for the sake of testing and the video and showing you what you can do. So I have both of these learned and now you can see I've made it and it is an illusionary, uh, you know, chess piece. The only thing with this illusionary system, I wish there was a way to tell, um, just by looking at it, what it was, like what has been transformed to, without having to wear it to see the transformation. I think it's kind of silly, you see Defari skin chest plate, but then when you put it on it's completely different, and then you don't really know what it is. You could almost do with a tooltip where you hover over it and it shows you what the skin is, or you could do with the name saying Defari skin chest plate. But the picture of it being the new one that you've transmogged it into, because for me, that would make more sense because then you know what you've got and what you've transferred it into. Because if it just looks like this, then it's a little bit more like, oh. <laughs> it's a bit more confusing what you're gonna get. <laughs> Especially if you put it in the chest and then you don't remember what you've transferred it into. Anyway, I digress. Let's have a look at some more of these skins. So. Going back into my former Teji bench, I want to change this to look into the Pictish War Chief chest plate. I want that to look like that. Combine it. Beautiful, I can do that. And now when I want to wear it or stick it on a, you know, a frill or something, then I can do that. Actually, I will show you that and demonstrate it in the video so you can see that as well. So I've got my poor friend Lee in here and he needs a new outfit because he looks, you know, needs some looks. And there you go. You can see it looks like that instead so the illusions definitely do work on frills as well if you were wondering so he looks like how i wanted him to look now so there you go good example it works the same with the weapons and the tools and whatever else you can give them to them and it will work just fine don't you worry about that so that's another thing now we have a look into further things i can't transfer this incomain sword into the iron broadsword but however if you learnt this on Sipta, you could transfer it onto here. So don't worry, as long as you learn the recipes of both of these, you can make them into a skin. That's how it goes. Same with the katana, I could change it into that because I have both learnt. Same with these. Oh, one thing I will say with the skin system, there doesn't seem to be a way to, you know, unless you have certain types of skin, you can't have like your hair showing and that's kind of like I wish there was more options for this. You could in theory wear something like jewellery on your head or earrings as providing you've learned it and stuff and have it work that way. So for instance if you go into the jewellery you could wear the goldsmith stuff, the jewellers or the silver circlets on your head and that would you know you could wear those for the helmet in transmog blah 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 instead and this is like the only way you can get your hair showing so it's kind of annoying so if i was gonna wear a heavy helmet didn't like it because it covered my hair up and then wanted to turn it into this this would be like the only way i could get my hair to show by having a few limited blueprints i could you know have so is i feel like there needs to be some more options to get your hair showing or something or a way in the illusionary system to just have it hide your helmet in general but this is kind of the best you can get just transfer it into jewelry or transfer it into the headband the headband is a dlc item no same with the bejeweled stuff but i believe you can probably use the iron circulate and stuff like that and that's uh, in the base game and you wouldn't have to buy a dlc for it um, but I guess my problem with it is, is a lot of the items that would show your hair are DLC based and you would have to spend money. And then if you wanted your hair to show, you have very limited options on what you could turn it into. You could turn it into silver earrings, silver circlet and earrings. There's not many options you could do to just get your hair to show and then perhaps that wouldn't be your style, you don't want a crown on or something. And, you know, etc, etc. So, um... You know, I feel like there needs to be more options for you to have, like, your hair showing and stuff like that. 
or maybe just a way that you could do like a, a second option on here that you could tick a box or something that would be like um hide helmet illusion or something and then you turn it into the thing and it will hide your helmet so you can see your hair because you know why have all these hairstyles in the game and stuff when you can't even see them <laughs> like why <laughs> you should be able to see them like people like seeing their hair they don't want it all banged up in a heavy helmet all the time or maybe that's just a few of us i don't know i know there's plenty of people out there though that would rather see their head and stuff not being bunged up into a silly helmet because <laughs> some of them do look silly so you know that would be a nice option for some people i know the rp community would definitely be one of them they want to see their hair and whatever else and you know, play that character and I feel like it needs to be some kind of option or they get more options of you know headbands and stuff that you don't have to pay for you know um, because at the moment it's just a couple of earrings and the silver circlet that you can really use to get your hair to show up right so <laughs> unless you pay money for DLCs so you know I feel like more options would be nice and then some way we can transmog the legendary stuff because a lot of people will use legendary stuff later in the game. Like Axe the Lion's very popular. Same with a few other legendaries. People love them and stuff. And probably would want to transmog them. Because if they're using Axe of the Lion all the time. They're not going to downgrade to the Sumerian Battle Axe. Just to be able to see it you know. That's kind of silly. So there needs to be some way you could perhaps. Um, you know learn it in here. You could put it in one of here. And you could go you know learn the recipe but they can't make it because it's legendary but they could learn it so they could be able to skin it you know just something like that or just some way to just skin legendaries in general the rest of it makes sense to me but those two not really but that would just be things i could pick on apart from that i do think it's a really nice system i do think it's nice that you're able to skin shields and even tools like that's a really small detail like if you want tools to look differently you can and i do like the fact that they have that as a thing and yeah anything that you can learn you can transmog if you can't learn it you can't transmog it so that's just how it goes in the test side version of the game at the moment so for the most part anything you want to reskin you can absolutely do that providing you have learnt it in your knowledge tab or say you went to scepter and learnt the scepter weapons via the vault providing you can craft it you can transmog it that's how it goes and you could probably do the same with the saddles actually let's have a look at that shall we saddles are another thing that i feel like you should be able to transmog but it doesn't seem like you can because every time i try and slap it in here you can't but it's another thing that you've got loads of skins for that i feel that needs illusionary stuff like you should be able to illusionary saddles and stuff but you can't even drag it in so that says only armors and weapons could use illusions I think down the pipeline it would be nice if we could transfer saddles anything with skins really into illusions um not building pieces because of course it makes sense that their own character you know they're in their own category etc but anything that you have lots of multiple skins for like weapons and armor and stuff like that and then the saddles i feel like you should be able to skin it the saddles just definitely a big one of that as well I think you should be able to skin them if you want to skin them and you can see how many just skins I have for saddles in general like I have so many saddle skins but perhaps I like one of these problems I get with saddles is I really like the ones that give you better maneuverability so I really like those kind of ones however there's only a few that does that and then there's these other ones that look really nice but they're heavy and i can't use them because they don't give me that good mobility that i like so i would love to be able to skin the saddle and make it into a skin that i own that i like the look of but i can't do it right now because they don't allow it so i think it would be really nice if they could consider that down the pipeline that maybe we could you know skin the saddles instead as well Apart from that, I think it's a really good start to a system. Being able to skin your tools and weapons that you've learned and stuff like that is really cool and it could develop over time to what they see people want and stuff and they're enable it, blah de blah. Um, hopefully that will be the case and they will listen in and see what we want out of this system and stuff and then make, you know, those changes that need to be done, etc, uh, etc, et to the game to make people happy, blah de blah. Um, <laughs> you get where I'm going with this. <laughs> But no, I think it's a great start. 
Um, being able to just illusion in general, I never thought it would be a thing in Conan and now we can change the armors on how we want them to look. So definitely a big plus for me, Like I definitely like this change, I definitely like this new system. And I think it's a great addition to, you know, the sorcery and everything, being able to change how we want to look. So yeah, just extras, that would be nice. Legendaries being able to be skinned would be a great addition. I'm sure there is a way to do it that works out. And then, you know, the saddles as well, that would be nice because it doesn't make sense not having saddles as part of the equation because if you can change the look of your armor and weapons, why not your saddle, you know? You can use all of those in PvP. So, you know... If you can do the other two, why not that one, you know? Because <laughs> there's tons of skins for the saddle, you know? <laughs> and I can only use a few of them, so yeah. Just options there, great start to the system. Let me know what you think about this system. If you like the new illusionary spells and stuff, and if you would like to change your legendaries into skins as well. Uh, to, you know, just improve your gameplay experience and have a nicer time using things that you want to use. Anyway, thank you for watching, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!